Oh, the forward in this thing would be ridiculous. There's a danker wart. It is not harder at all. No. We're on the wrong side of the road. Let's go get to the right side of the road. Recalculating route. This is where all the track day cars, except for the Ultima, fall short. Ultima is actually, I think, the fastest car in the game. Besides everyone telling you the Hennessy Venom and the Bugatti Veyron are no sir. The highest speeds I've seen is like 275 in the Ultima GTR. It's weird now that I have to check for a 7th gear in a lot of cars. For a comparison video, I mean... There's no really... I feel like I a, am too biased. I mean, I'm right, but... <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm too biased. Um. Yeah, there's a reason Black Panther said that and nobody else said that. It's because Black Panther doesn't do rear-wheel drive. If he did rear-wheel drive and stuff, and just did all-wheel drive, like, casually, he wouldn't try to get every, you know, we should all be friends, everyone be accepting of drivetrain. No, I mean, like, that's the way it's always been, and that's the way for me it always will be, is rear-wheel drive... If you want to do orbital drive, that's fine, whatever. You just have to, you know. There's going to be people like me. Um, there's going to be people like me that criticize you, that say no. Orbital drive, at least in my opinion, is does not take as much skill. To get right, it probably is difficult, like, you know, to tune it and, 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 and get it to where it looks like you're actually, like, completing a course. But, I mean... I've done both. Like, I was an all-wheel drive drifter in Forza 2 for, like, two weeks before I transferred over to the the light side that is rear-wheel drive drifting. All-wheel drive drifting, really, all I did had to do was fully upgrade what I was driving um, and add a little bit of camber and, like, throttle control. You don't really have to counter-steer at all. Sakuba was the easiest thing in the world, um, among with other tracks. Real Drive took me a month just to learn how to drive the fucking thing, let alone tune it. You know, and, and if all wheel drive is more difficult, then why? I'm not trying to, uh, to to rip on you alone, but if all wheel drive is more difficult, then why is it that everybody I've ever met that does all wheel drive drifting absolutely refuses to use rear wheel drive? Or if they do use rear wheel drive, they usually use a Evo. Put all the, uh, use it, make sure it's all wheel drive, but like change the diff so they say it's rear wheel drive, and though it really isn't. Everybody I've ever, and even any, again, even that aside, the all wheel drive community I find is just assholes. I'd rather be an elitist than an asshole. If you know what, if you know what I'm getting at. I'd rather be an unwelcoming douchebag, elitist. And somebody who's like, oh, hey, mate, 1v1 me. I'm so much better than you. Blah, I'm a fucking dickhead. Nah. In yards, I very rarely met a, uh, a respectful all-wheel drive drifter. And I say drifter, but... How much is this fucking headset? 89 bucks? Not uh, 79 bucks. The Armed Forces one is more expensive. I don't need that. Is it wireless though? No, oh, no, it plugs into the com plugs into the fucking what should I call it? No, nah, for 80 bucks, I'll give it a shot. I 
I cleared the chat because my last name was there. Who is Better TV? I don't know who that is. I recognize the name somehow, but I don't know who it is. Um. Turn right. The Triumph Motorbike Drifters? Yeah, I've seen that. What's up, Disco Titanfall? That's a name and a half. Um, Mango, I don't even consider him a power slider or a drifter or whatever. He just kind of does what he wants. I mean, he's not, like, trying to be competitive, like, trying to teach people, oh, annoy, oh, annoy, mate, this is how you drift, mate, like, no, he just said, you know, does all-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, whatever, Mangle's goal is to have fun, and that kind of exempts him. That kind of exempts him from, uh... Exempts him from criticism. Right. It's when somebody says, hey, I'm an on-wheel drive driver, take me seriously. That's when I'm like, okay, listen, so let's have a seat so we can have a little chat. one's the Extreme Track Toys Championship, and we don't say extreme lightly. Some of the cars in this bracket are just nuts, but I guess you already know that. Okay, mate, choose a race and let's start the championship. So, well, I'm gonna go with the one that's right here, don't you, don't, don't you know? when it is safe to do so. Oh, you want to see the entire world? There's a lot of dead area like right here. You can't I don't think this is I think this is as far as you can go. Uh, there's no Ford Falcon in this game which makes me sad. But uh, yeah, here you go. World map. There's five different locales. All they all have their kind of own little niche. Oi, Alex is online. Yards, turn left. Oh, I'm gonna go fuck with Alex. I'm gonna go fuck with Alex. Oh, this session's full. I was gonna say, I will for sure go fuck with Alex, but. With an R wheel drive power slider directly? Oh, fuck, for sure, dude. I was on the Forza, I've been on the Forza forums, like, for forever. Eh, yeah, we'll use this. Once I like the carrier, I just want an excuse to buy it. <laughs> I've got no arguments. It, it's it's the fact that I will fully admit that I I'm way too passionate about the topic, and I will I will fight and argue somebody to the bitter end. Um, but it's the fact that those arguments usually start are not started by me. They're started by somebody else. Like on the forums, 95% of the time, it'll be somebody making a thread going, "All oh, all-wheel drive is just as good," or you know, "Oh, it's harder," or you know, "It's rear-wheel drive's easy." Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm not gonna do. I'm not doing any drift builds on this uh, stream. At least that's the plan. Oh, holy shit! But um, yeah, no, it's uh, happens quite often. Oh, didn't break early enough. 
Back of this car, gorgeous. Front of this car, weird. Take some wall. I'm just trying to power through uh, the career mode, or at least like the main story mode. Get as much money as I can so I can start making videos. Oh cool, it's laps. I was like, holy shit, I'm fucked. Car, it doesn't really have understeer. I'm just going in every corner way too fast. It's actually got a lot of grip if I get on the uh, throttle like an intelligent human being. I was doing like 70 in a tight corner. That's my own fault. I wanted to play with Alex, I don't want to play with anybody else. I got on the brakes way too early and way too much. I forgot what that corner was. And posts. See what I mean? I'm just going into everything too quickly. It's going from a, driving a fast car to this. Like, I think it's too fast. Three fast, five me. I mean, Drive Club looks fun, but it's definitely not... I would not buy a PS4 just for Drive Club. I would buy an Xbox One just for this. It just looks like a Need for Speed Shift 3. Or Project Gotham Racing. I don't know, it just doesn't look interesting enough for me to warrant buying a PlayStation. I still want a PS4, I mean, don't get me wrong. Fuck, you cannot drive this car right now. I got lucky. Get the hell out of my way. Really? I mean, I'm no hater. I, I have not played Drive Club at all. I'm sure maybe if I play it, that might change my opinion, but at the moment, I cannot see myself spending several hundred dollars just on for one game because there's nothing else on the PS3 or PS4 right now that interests me.
too strewn. Um, GT6. I have GT6. I just it didn't. Mm, it didn't please me. I feel like GT. Uh, GT is just not. It's just disappointing me. It's not. It's not that I don't like. I love Gran Turismo. Um, I always have. And it always will be like my first real racing game. Um, and that, that'll never change. Um, but. I mean, GT6 is way too cold, way too clinical, and way too serious. It's almost like they forgot how to have fun. Uh, what's the frame rate like? I haven't had any. Fr I've had one frame rate issue in probably uh, several hours of playtime. Max online players is, I think, 12. I'm pretty sure it's 12. So we're, I think we're in fail races game now. We are indeed. I don't know if he was doing a video. Hopefully not. Yeah, PCs are... GT's basically going after a market that's not there anymore. Forza is still realistic, but it's like, hey, you want to do something stupid. You know, you can do something stupid. But, like, you know, we still have that realistic undertone. Um, you know, the people who want a real racing game all grown up and can afford, like, a real racing game. Like, you know, if you want to play a realistic racing game, Assetto Corsa, iRacing, R-Factor. You have every option out there. There's no need. Where, where is he? I know he's here. It says he's here. You little fuck. Where are you, a little bastard? He's setting up a thing. Yeah, he's still... weather effects like take a look hey thank you so much for watching if you liked the video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos go ahead and click that subscribe button i also have a facebook and a twitter for those links be sure to check out the description box below